Hello YTPC, Joshua Stewart smoking a pipe up north in the woods. No, I'm not in the woods, I'm in the shop. I'm hoping to be up in the woods at least for a little bit in a matter of hours. But I'm going to be uh, heading up north to the woods to pick up the camper. And then uh, heading down to southern Minnesota to the, the LeSueur County Pioneer Power Swap Meet near LeSueur, Minnesota. I'm hoping to get there Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Kind of depends on how things go. I'm hoping to leave here by 10 a.m. Wednesday. Go up and get the camper and, and drive down there. But um, I'm recording this on Tuesday night. But I got thinking this is going to be... the first event, outdoor public event, where I'll be smoking a pipe. So I got my little pipe kit with that got a couple of different pipes packed in there. I, I, I don't have it handy right here right now. I got it packed away. Um, I got, I think, three pipes in there and and the tamper and the lighter and filters and pipe cleaners and a couple of pouches of tobacco. And I'm bringing with a small box with a few other blends just to have on hand. But uh, I guess my question is if you got any recommendations for any blends that'll leave a real positive impression by passers-by that will leave them with a good impression of pipe smokers. I've got my uh, Captain Black Royal. I think that's probably going to be my go-to blend for the weekend in the week but I also brought with uh, some cult blood red moon some sailor v chocolate eclair molto dolce uh, vanilla custard I remember, I thought there was a, probably with about a half a dozen tins that I had opened of tins and pouches, and I guess the bulk one Q and stuff too. But but if you've got any recommendations of any other blends, especially if you can comment before about 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Of any other blends that are you know totally pleasant for the bystanders that I may have forgot that is I took inventory and I've got nearly between my samples and my tins and my bulks I think I've got over a hundred blends right now so I forget a lot of what I have and what it tastes like after or with that many. And I've got a lot more to, to try it. I haven't tried all of them. Um, in fact, this is one of the samples in my Missouri Meerschaum Country Gentleman. I like this fight. This is my favorite cob. Legends are the workhorse, but this is the one that's 
my favorite for the cobs. But I've got one of my samples that I got from Jesse at Jess Piping. Uh, some Country Squire Black Arrow he sent me. I took a video of, of uh, the Yabo when it showed up, but I haven't posted it yet. I'll probably, uh, probably post that um, sometime while I'm gone because I won't really have very good Wi-Fi or no Wi-Fi and limited data for uploading. So I've got that video already uploaded. It's just a matter of making it public. But this, uh, keep wanting to call it Arrowhead, but it's Black Arrow. Now, reminds me a little bit of like a Captain Black Dark, but I've only had a, a bowl or two of that and it's been a while. So. Or like a BCA kind of. Kind of, but not really. So, um, oh, then one other thing before I let you go. I'm just doing, hopefully I can keep this as a quick video. I went shopping on eBay a few days ago. Picked me up a couple of K-Woodies. I got this one. This one's going to need a little work. But I got it cheap, so I'll do a little work if I can get it that cheap. If it's fixable. I got a, another white briar. I think this one, is it a, referred to it as a coral white briar. The stingers have been cut off and it's out of alignment, but with the uh, you can see that. But I had one other one that I was able to fix that on, get it lined back up. And... Cut off stinger. Which I know a lot of people don't like the stingers, but I don't mind them. In fact, I kind of like them. That wasn't the only K-Woody I got. Yeah, this one. This one is an actually really, really nice shape. I mean, the, the mouthpiece, I don't know if you can see that. Is, uh, heavily oxidized it needs to be cleaned but everything else is pretty good shape and just a little bit of cleaning and polishing and it'll be really good can't wait to try it but if anybody has ever had one of these what do they call it a filter pipe k woody filter pipe I would like to remove this vulcanite stem to deep clean it, but it seems like it's attached, like a spring-loaded. You can see that. And uh, I don't know how to remove it so I can clean that separately. I suppose I could clean it assembled, but if I'm, I like to take pipes apart as far as I can when I refurbish them before I actually use them. But yeah, so this one I'm excited about. And uh, I'm assuming that the bowls on these are interchangeable and replaceable with other ones. So... Uh, I haven't really done any looking around to see 
if they're available any place. And I don't know how this compares to like the Falcons either. It seems like in the 50s and 60s there was a lot of experimentation with this kind of stuff going on. So yeah, anyway, if anybody knows how to pull that mouthpiece off without breaking it how to disconnect it from the spring and then so i can reconnect it too i mean i'm sure i could just yank real hard and it would come out just fine but i want to be able to put it back together so i can use it so yeah any advice on on these uh, K. Woody filter pipes, and uh, if there's any recommendations for uh, crowd friendly blends that I should be sure to take with. I don't have everything, but I've, I've got, a, got a pretty good selection around here. Might have to take this black arrow with. So anyway, with that, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by and sharing a pipe with me. And I'll, I'll see if I can do a quick little high when I'm up in the woods and then uh, see if I can get that uploaded in the next day or two and then uh, we'll go from there might post something when I'm down to swap me too mitten says hi all right Joshua Stewart smoking pipe up north in the woods have a good day